Hello, I'm Talkie Talker, a speech synthesizer designed to plug into the standard bus on your 8080 microcomputer. With proper editing and smoothing of the parameter data in the control file, Talkie Talker can produce speech with the quality you are now hearing. <laughs> Now CompuTalker brings truly high-quality speech output to the microcomputer world. All the music and speech at the beginning of this tape was produced by the CompuTalker model CT1 speech synthesizer. The CompuTalker model CT1 is a printed circuit board assembly which plugs directly into a single bus slot on any computer equipped with a hobbyist standard 100-pin bus. The board can easily be fitted to other bus configurations with a simple adapter. CompuTalker is controlled by nine real-time data channels, each of which specifies an acoustic aspect of the speech signal. The board is addressed through nine 8-bit output ports or I.O. locations. A normal update rate for good quality speech output is 100 bytes per second on each of the nine ports. Control parameter data for the CompuTalker synthesizer may be obtained in several different ways. One way is by computer analysis of actual speech samples. The examples heard earlier on this tape were produced by analyzing a recording of a human voice to extract the required parameters. The parameter values obtained by this analysis were then hand-edited to achieve the demonstrated speech quality. Another way to generate the parameter data is with a software system in which the desired speech material is entered in the form of a phonetic code. Symbols are chosen from the standard ASCII character set to correspond as closely as possible to ordinary English spelling. The phonetic characters are first converted into a linguistic feature code and stored in a binary valued matrix. A set of English phonetic rules then operates on the matrix and makes adjustments in the binary feature values according to the phonetic structure of the English language. The resulting feature matrix then guides a numerical algorithm which generates a smooth sequence of the data values for each of the nine control parameters. These parameter signals control the speech synthesizer board just as in the previous examples. As you listen to the following example of synthesis by rule, notice which aspects of the speech sound more or less natural to you. Notice that the pitch or intonation varies according to the stress pattern of each sentence, but the speech still sounds rather mechanical. Most people find the speech to be readily intelligible, especially after a little practice listening to it. The example is a well-known speech. What's the problem with speech synthesis by rule? What can we do to make it sound better? The CompuTalker speech synthesizer was designed to help answer these questions. CompuTalker is not only a useful computer-controlled voice output device applicable for talking data terminals, language education aids, telephone answering, and to give your computer more personality as a companion, it is also a flexible tool for use in studying the human speech process and human speech perception. The acoustic and physiological aspects of speech production are closely modeled by the CompuTalker speech synthesis hardware. The quality and accuracy of this modeling are well demonstrated by the examples of synthesis by hand editing presented at the beginning of this tape. You will now hear two further examples of hand editing selected to show the ability of CompuTalker to produce different dialects. Another language would be no more difficult to produce. These examples will be presented along with the original recordings for comparison. Notice in both examples that an echo from the surroundings was captured by the voice analysis and retained in the synthetic version. 
Notice also that the record noise in the original, including a scratch, was eliminated in the resynthesized version. First the original, then the synthesis. Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. Doors will be opening that have not been opened in the past to Negroes. These examples demonstrate the potential of the synthesizer hardware to reproduce characteristics of style. Most of the personality or style that you hear in speech is determined by the pattern of values controlling the pitch or fundamental frequency. When the synthesizer control parameters are generated by a system of software rules, the characteristics of style that you hear in the speech output are inherent in the structure of that system of rules. In the following example, a line from Star Trek, listen again to the mechanical style generated by this system of rules. Because the rule system is implemented in software, we have access to the structure of the rules and can modify and improve the quality of the speech output. It is also possible to modify various aspects of CompuTalker's speech by directly modifying the control parameters or the driver software. For example, by updating the control parameter data at a faster rate, you can increase the rate of speaking without changing the frequencies. You do not get a squeaky voice as you do when speeding up a tape recording. The pitch control parameter can be increased or decreased by a constant value to raise or lower the pitch. This is Lloyd Rice, phonetician, consultant, and general partner of CompuTalker Consultants, Post Office Box 1951, Santa Monica, California, 90406. We are very pleased and excited to present the CompuTalker model CT1 speech synthesizer and hope that you have enjoyed this demonstration of some of its capabilities. The introductory musical number was a selection from Bach's Prelude to Partita No. 3. In that piece, I was controlling the synthesizer so that different formant frequency settings were assigned for individual notes. Now for a finale, I would like to play the prelude in its entirety.